Hello, bonjour, namaste, ni hao, and oh hi everybody, what is going on, it is Gail Riot here, and welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi video, and today we are playing Don Machi Infinite Combat, one of the Don Machi games of all time, of course, a lot of you guys probably already know about it, but if you haven't ever seen anything about this game, of course, today will be the first time you actually see content on this game, and let me tell you, you are in for a treat, trust me when I say this. Of course, this game came out back in 2018 or 2019, I think, for Japan, and then it was released subsequently for the global regions in 2020-2021 for PC and PS4 and uh, Nintendo Switch, I think. But, uh, of course, you could have seen by the copyright, if you saw at the title screen, at the bottom it said copyrighted Sword Oratoria Project and uh, Fujino Mori and everything. So, obviously, this came out before Danmachi Season 2 was even announced. So this game is old and uh, let's just say its gameplay is... Um it's very interesting. So today's video is not going to be too long. It's going to be just me playing the game for the very first time, of course. This is going to be my first time playing this game. We're not going to focus too much on the story because the story is, for the most part, just season one content. Like I said, this game came out way before season two, season three came out. And of course, this came out during the time Sword Oratoria was actually airing or was uh, finished airing. And then, of course, this game came out. I think this game came out actually after Dan Mimo released. So it, it has aged and it is old, but it's not that old, right? It's not like a 2005, 7, 2010 game. No, this is a 2018, 2019 game, basically. So you would think that the quality of the game would be decent, right? You would think that would be the case, right? Well, I'll tell you first and foremost, I'm not playing on a controller. I'm playing on my keyboard and mouse because when I tried using my controller, the controls were just not working at all. So that is a first big, big red flag in my personal opinion. So now, of course, the story is carrying on. I'm going to probably just skip through the story because, you know, we've already been through it. You and I have been through the Don Machi story for a very, very long time. We've seen season one many a times. We've read through the light novels many a times. We've played through Don Mimo, Don Machi Battle Chronicle. All of these games have gone through the story. Yes, I know the intro is there. I don't want to get copyright claimed. Please, game. Ch Bell Chapter 1, Aina Study Session. So this is, of course, like I said, starting from the very beginning of Dan Machi. Um, Dan Machi Season 1 specifically. You will see some things that are reminiscent and nostalgic in the sense of, like, you will be going through effectively... Bell's starting journey. Of course, the first time he goes into the dungeon. Or the first couple of weeks he goes into the dungeon obviously encounters th th things like the Minotaur eyes and so on and so forth. <laughs> I love how I put Minotaur and eyes in the same sentence as if eyes is a monster as well. Um, in all honesty, when it comes to the story side of things, again, I'm, I have no problem with them, you know, redoing season one content or season two content or Sword Oratoria or whatever, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, you can play as eyes and go through the Sword Oratoria story as well, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, the, 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 the whole thing is voiced by the way as well, which is also a thumbs up. So there are some positives here, you know, and I like this. This is actually pretty cool. You know, you obviously have Valis, you have skill points, you have the ability to change equipment and stuff. I think this is, this is what I would love to see the game be like in the future in the sense of there needs to be weapons, there needs to be armor, there needs to be items, there needs to be a sort of uh, skill tree. I think we need to see stuff like that in the future game as well. The next upcoming game that we're getting with uh, um, uh, Full End of Water and Light. I really want to see something like this because I think, generally speaking, this is nice. I think this is nice, honestly. The problem comes in a moment. We're going to just make our first save data just to get it out of the way. But the problem will come in a moment when we get into the actual dungeon side of things. Uh, in just a moment, and you'll see what I mean by that. I love the fact, I, 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 honestly, we've been praising the game so far, to be fair, you know, the fact that it's, you know, um, a console game, it's uh, available in English, it's the only other Don Machi game available, you know, um, effectively for free, it's like a couple of pounds at most. I think if you go to a key shop, it's like two or three pounds at most. I think if you buy it um, legitimately through Steam, well, keys are legitimate as well, but if you buy it through Steam as well, it's about five to ten pounds at most, give or take. Um, but do I think it's worth five to ten pounds? 
Uh, not so much. I'm gonna skip the tutorial just because I feel like I'm that much of a badass. I mean, hey, listen, I've played Elden Ring, okay? I surely should be able to win this stage. Do I want to view the dungeon tutorial? No, we're gonna go straight in. Of course, I will admit, you know, defeat or I will admit my own faults if I am not able to play the game properly. But I will give you guys my honest thoughts on just generally how the game looks and stuff. So defeat three goblins. And yeah, this is the gameplay. Um, so V is back, uh, back dodge. Z is to do normal attacks. X is like a spin attack. Okay. What is T? T has nothing. Okay. Um, I assume item usage is W A S D because I'm using the arrow keys to move. Um, but yes, this is the gameplay, and of course you can tell that. Uh, yeah, it's it's very much like a mobile game esque in all honesty. I I mean I ain't gonna cap. Am I actually enjoying this game? Honestly? <laughs> Alright, one second, let me backdash. Okay, the controls are definitely a bit stiff. It's not like smooth by any means of the imagination. You can get locked into the combos. But yes, that is the gameplay. That is literally the gameplay. Um, so Z is to hide the, uh, the text box and stuff. That's nice actually if you want to take pictures and stuff, of course, right? Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's the gameplay. That is the gameplay. And honestly, low key, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, this is my first time playing the game, and all I'd seen is the actual like gameplay itself, right? This is my first time playing the game and my first time actually watching the gameplay and stuff. I'm gonna cap. I like this part. It's very it's very, very, very basic and very um clunky and a, a bit thrown together in, in a way, but I like the the things it has, you know, you have market, you can go and buy armor and weapons and stuff, right? Um, I'm gonna skip the tutorials for now. You can go and buy armors, you can, you know, enhance stuff. This is, this is nice in a way, you know? This is nice in a way because you can get ballast, you can buy stuff, you can sell, you can enhance, you can grant attributes to your weapons as well. Like, I think this is good in that sense, you know? It's got some depth to it. It has some depth to it, but do I think could it be better? Absolutely. I think the gameplay itself, I think if it had been like proper normal models and stuff, right? I clicked on the tutorial, damn it. But uh, uh, I think if it had actually, you know, a proper, you know, design and everything like proper models and stuff, like if they had taken the Danmachi Battle Chronicle models and put it into this effectively and made it this type of a game with like, Maybe season one, season two content with Sword of Artoria season one. Maybe add in a couple of original stories as well. I think that this could have been pretty good, you know? I do think that this could have been very, very good. Um, let's do re the recommended quests and get that out of the way. I'm not gonna lie. How have I all of a sudden started liking this game? I was going to go into this video saying like, you know, it's, uh, it's terrible and stuff, but... I think because I've also bought it for $2, right? I think that's why I'm not too fussy about it. I want to actually check one second. Can I pause the game? Yeah, I can pause the game right here. What I'm going to do quickly is, uh, is I'm just going to check something. Danmachi Infinite Combat release price. How much was it when it released? Release price. How much was it? How much was it? $40. It's $40 right now. Okay. Yeah, for that price? Hell no. Hell no. Never mind. I said 10 pounds for 5 to 10 pounds earlier on. Hell no. I think if you if you buy it for a couple of dollars, maybe five, ten dollars, sure. I think this is absolutely fine. Buying this game for buying this game for $20, 30 plus dollars, even 20 plus dollars. I would be very concerned. And I mean, there's no... I'm not gonna lie, obviously, with the goblins right now, it doesn't feel like there's much intuition to it. You can easily beat them, right? Um, but I think with, of course, harder monsters, I'd like to see if there's any technical abilities there. Because honestly, this feels like something you could easily just make an RPG maker or something like that. Very simple, very easy at its core. What I think works well with this game is the fact that it's voiced, it's got a story, um... And it's got these sort of elements that make it a Danmachi game. You know, Loki, I, I hate saying this. Um, 
considering I am playing Danmachi Battle Chronicle right now and I'm making videos on it, this game feels more like a Danmachi game than Battle Chronicle does. I ain't gonna cap. And I can tell you why immediately. Things like the status sheet and actually having like proper, proper like stats, attack, strength. You have strength, agility, magic, vitality, dexterity. You also have things like uh, equipment, proper equipment, not fucking hostess of fertility, lunch meals as a battle item. I think that's what makes it... Oh, I, I think the problem is I'm comparing to Battle Chronicle, which obviously both get, I mean, what's worse, one shit or the other shit kind of thing, basically. Um, No, but I do think that there is some things that I really like about this. But of course, I will say that um, nonetheless, you know, at the end of the day, I think the design of this game is what will, you know, annoy a lot of people. Like the design of this game, the UI and everything, it definitely feels like it's something a child could have made. And honestly, something that, you know is very very basic and something that probably is a very free game as kind of vibe which i absolutely understand and i kind of agree with to an extent as well but i think what helps it as well is for some reason i feel like there's a certain charm to it I, I, again i think for the price that i got it for which was about two or three pounds i got it for that it's not bad at all but i think if you're buying it for uh, more than that hell no I would not recommend buying this for more than like five bucks, ten bucks maybe. Ten bucks is probably the maximum I would say. I think if you're a Don Machi fan, ten bucks is something you can definitely spare. In all honesty, but uh, not not more than that. Not more than that. Not more than that. Definitely. But how has this happened? How have I started enjoying this game all of a sudden, man? I don't believe this. I don't believe it. We're defeating the goblins though. We're beating these goblins. We need to get uh, five goblin horns. That's what we're trying to get here. We got it. Beautiful stuff. Awesome, awesome stuff. But I think that needed to be a thing. I'm also quite, from what I know as well, is that Bell and Eyes are the only playable characters from my understanding. I think you can have like assist characters like Lily, Welf and whatnot. I think having more playable characters and being able to control different playable characters would be cool. Again, make it more Xenoblade-esque maybe, right? I think you could do, you've got yourself a solid thing here. Maybe making the dungeon actually expansive maybe, right? I think would help massively as well, right? I think that definitely would help a lot, right? So let's see here. I'm going into the familiar, right? So I've got skill points and stuff, right? Um, from beating up the goblins. Let's see here. Uh, can I activate this? Yes, I do have skill points. So I can activate this. That'll increase my strength. Oh, I don't have enough skill points for that. So you can see the required skill points is 100. I just increased my HP right now. I can go for more of an HP boost as well. And there's more of a skill bar. This is what I would love to see in future games as well. You can increase the dagger skill, sword skill, lord sword skill, support skill. Oh, yeah, nah. Nah. This is this is something we need. Obviously, in more detail as well. Um, definitely need this. Definitely need this. Now, I don't know if I'll 100% this game. I'm a big fan of 100%ing games and getting all the achievements and stuff, right? Uh, maybe we might do a 100% stream, maybe in the future, potentially, if you guys are interested in watching me do this effectively, right? But, ah, shit, man, I can't believe it! I was gonna go into this video, I had the title ready and everything, and I was like, this is the worst game on the planet and everything, or this is the worst game Don Manchi could have had. But honestly, do I think it's as bad as I think it was? I don't know, I don't think so, no. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. You know, having watched gameplay of this game and, you know, looking at the reviews and talking to other people who play this game, who played this game, right, and tried playing it, I genuinely thought it was going to be bad. I was going into this right, ready to be like, ah, oh, shit, you know, this is absolutely terrible. But honestly, it's not the worst. I mean, of course, I haven't experienced some of the glitches I've seen. I saw some people saying that the music is looping and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can easily stunlock your enemies as well, which kind of makes it easier as well. Uh, but it's not too bad. All right, we've gone down to the next floor. This is floor two. Okay, maybe the UI could definitely use some improvement for sure. And maybe just generally speaking, I think there could be some slight adjustments as well, if possible. Um, ooh, I should have probably sold some uh, of my equipment and stuff and uh, bought a new uh, weapon. Because, yeah, we're taking a lot of damage here. Can I use my item? There we go, okay. 
So using item is WASD like I thought. Okay, I wasn't sure exactly if that was the case, but I was right. You can see also that I'm getting monster items and stuff. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, there we go. I was like, can I not do this? Woo! Alright, dodging is V. Woo! Got him. Okay, I'm, I might have dodged in the wrong way. You can dodge, or you can go forward as well and attack. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to... <laughs> I've kind of blocked him as well. That's a tactic and a half, bro. There we go. This guy can, can't move. Who do you think you are, bro? No, 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 no. You're not doing shit, bro. You're not doing shit against Belkranel, boy. You can get crits as well, of course, right, and stuff. Again, I, I like the core concept. I think that's the problem is, like, because I've not... Because after the loss of Danmachi Memoria Freeze, not having an actually accurate Danmachi game has kind of hurt a little bit, right? Because, of course, while I while Danko has some positives, I feel like the biggest problem I feel is, like, I don't ever feel like I'm playing a proper Danmachi game. You know, I'm playing, like, a gacha game with a Danmachi skin on it. I've said it multiple times when I've been, you know, talking about Danko heavily, right? It feels like it's the same thing here, basically. It's like, I'm playing a game that's... I, 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 it's the same thing with Don Crow, Crow. Like, I don't feel like I'm playing a Don Machi game. Whereas here, while I do think that the quality of the game is... There's a lot to be left desired for, right? Uh, in terms of just the models, the gameplay loop and everything, right? There's definitely a lot to be left desired. I think what helps is that at the end of the day, it still is a Don Machi game, you know? It feels like a Don Machi game. They've got all the stuff you need. The skill points, the actual, like, drops the weapons it works really well it really does work really well uh oh heal up heal up heal up Ooh, that could have been dangerous Ooh, did i just dodge attack them no 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 i don't know what i did there but i i think i teched it really well because i don't know why the the goblin at the back was able to get hit there uh oh that's just a concern oh my lord we need to heal up here. I'm wasting my healing items, but we gotta heal up, man. We gotta heal up. It's dangerous. Okay, this is the final floor because we only need to get to floor, uh, uh the staircase of floor five now. I wonder if you can keep going into the dungeon again and again and just like over level basically, get all the skill points you need. Because that would be pretty cool, in all honesty. If you can do that, that would be fantastic. Also, you can attack at a range. I wonder if you have a sword, you might be able to get a higher range, maybe. Um, okay, the kobolds are here. I'm just trying to stay away. Uh-oh. Can you stop? Okay, they go for three attacks. I've got them. I've got them where I want them. <laughs> I love how he's just smacking and I'm also just smacking away, basically, hoping that I'm getting it done right. Uh, am I going the right way? Okay, they spawned in there. I'm gonna go this way. I assume there's gotta be more monsters here this way, right? Surely. Surely, surely. I wanna see more monsters spawn in so that I can get more skill points. I just want more skill points. Yeah, I was right. Uh-oh, uh, -oh, uh, -oh, uh let, let me go. These goblins are annoying the hell out of me. I'm gonna just do this practice quest and I'm gonna then uh, probably give you guys my thoughts and then maybe in the future we can come back and play some more, of course, right? Maybe we'll get to the ice scene. Oh my lord, there's, uh, there's so many of them. I need to heal up here. I've used up all my healing items, basically. That's crazy. Is this game even harder than Elden Ring? <laughs> nah, there's no way. Surely not, surely not. I think I was supposed to uh, use up my skill points and uh, also buy some new weapons and stuff, which I didn't do, to be fair. Uh, that is on me. Um, but it's fine. Also, I'm trying to learn to use the dodge button a bit better now. Okay. Alright, almost, almost there. Beautiful stuff. Nah, these guys can't get me. I'm Bell fucking Cronel. Oh. They can, they can, they can, they very well can get me. <laughs> they very well can get me. Alright, this should be the last point, right? Oh no, there's still more. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, we got him. Woo! Double kill, baby, we got him, we got him. Treasure bag obtained, very nice. Oh, there's still more to go, there's still way more to go. 
Okay, now this is this. You know, this is what I'd love to see in. Uh, oh my lord, I might die here. All right, they're gonna come close to me. Ooh, that was close. That was close. We got him. The large kobolds down. Oh my god. This is what I want to see from a roguelike in Danmachi, honestly. I would love to see a roguelike like this in Danmachi, where you're basically exploring the dungeon, and uh, the dungeon keeps changing. You know, the dungeon layout keeps changing. You also have different enemies spawning in at times. You're trying to find different treasures, and basically selling Valis and exploring. You're basically doing an ex... You're, you're continuously exploring, and the dungeon keeps adjusting accordingly. You know, the layout slightly changes here and there. I think that would make it for some very fun experiences. There we go. No, 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 buddy. There we go. We got him. Uh oh, a new one spawning in. Two of them. Three of them. How many of them? Hey, yo, chill, 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 chill. I don't have the HP for this. I don't have the HP for this. I don't have the HP for this. Guys, 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 guys. Oh, God. No, no, no. No! I aimed in the wrong direction. <laughs> I pressed up. I pressed up, all right? <laughs> no way did I lose in my first fight. No way. All right, let's not restart the quest. Let me go back and check. So does the... Okay, so the skill points don't stay. That's actually quite nice. Ooh, I can see why it's quite fun now. Oh, no cap. They've actually made it kind of fun for me. Uh, let's go back to the market then. Let me go to the market and see what's up. But I'm not going to lie. We might have to do a 100% run here. Oh, you don't even get that. Oh, oh. What can I sell? Oh, I can sell this for 50 bucks. Wow, nice. I I, I think that's, fin that's that's absolutely brilliant in all honesty. That is so good. That is insane. That is, that, that is absolutely insane. Okay. Ooh, we might have to do a new... We, we do, we may, oh. You unlock. This is like, this is like Persona. Wait, did did they give me new weapons because of of me selling shit? Yeah. Okay, maybe maybe was I I was wrong about this game? Maybe, maybe I was wrong about this game. Chat, let me uh, comments comments. Sorry, I I keep thinking I'm live right now. Let me know if you want to see me play this game, because I ain't gonna cap, man. I'll obviously do, be uh, making a video, obviously I'll keep making a video on this series as well. So like, we will be continuously playing the game, I'll be doing certain points of this game, maybe I'll come back and do another section, right? But the, now that I've learned a little bit more about this game, and I have an un understanding of how this game works, what I might need to do is uh, restart the game from fresh, and start from the very beginning and play the game properly. Because I think that this game is actually kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. No cap. It's kind of fun. Kind of fun. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm... Maybe I was wrong. Maybe for the price. I, I The thing is, I'm also, I think, thinking because of the price, right? I'm thinking it from the price perspective. In that, you know, because I bought this game for only like 2-3 pounds at most... And the fact that it's Don Machi as well, and the fact that on the surface level, with some of the stuff here, it's very basic. I know I'm I'm acting like, you know, this is something immense and stuff, right? The Persona's things of like, you can sell the equipment to get better weapons and stuff like that in the shop and all. It may not seem that, you know, crazy when it comes to the gaming side of things. And I'm not saying that I'm that impressed, of course, right? But what I am impressed about is the fact that you know, considering how bad I initially thought the game was going to be, I've come into the game being fairly surprised. So, we'll see how long this carries forward for. Maybe I might change my mind in the future by the time the game's end comes as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments as well, your thoughts as well. I know some of you guys probably bought this at full price. So, maybe those of you guys who bought it when it was like $30, $40, Maybe y'all have a different opinion on that front, of course, right? And maybe if you bought it for a bit cheaper, y'all have a different perspective as well. But as somebody who bought this game for like maybe two euros at most, five pounds, maybe at top is what I think it was. I think it's like, if I go to a key shop, let me actually check a key shop. Donmachi Infinite Combat. 
uh, key shop. Let me see. How much did I get it for? How much did I get it for from this place? Yeah, two point something pounds. Yeah, I did not spend more than that. I did not spend more than that. I was like, I am 99% sure I did not spend more than that. And I know the average rating is like 44%. It is bad on Steam. Like it's, um, it's mixed reviews, I think, on Steam. But I'm not gonna lie, no cap. For the price I got it for, it's not bad at all. I'd probably give it like, so far, just based on chapter one. Again, it's too early to say anything. But based on chapter one and what I've seen gameplay wise and just generally, it's probably like a five or six out of ten. It's an average game, I feel. That's the thing. That's just, just a very average game. Very poor gameplay elements. I would say like the, the combat and everything is very, very basic. There's not much to it. You do your normal basic attacks, one spin attack, you dodge, keep attacking. There's one loop there. But I think from an RPG mind uh, aspect and just generally the fact that you've got the Valus, you've got the skill points, you've got the skill tree, you've got the market, you sell stuff, you get more weapons and so on and so forth. I think that gives me a little bit more of an incentive to want to continue to play because there is a uh, there is a X factor there, I suppose is the best way to put it. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. A little bit of an odd one, didn't expect to make it this way, but yeah. I'm kind of pleasantly surprised about what I've, uh, you know, seen here, to be honest, considering all things said and done. So let me know what you guys think. Maybe a 100% run will be coming soon on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.